Okay, when we're adding fractional inches, it's very similar to the other worksheet that we did where we were just adding the fraction pieces. The only difference is we also need to add the whole number of inches. So in this first example, we have 10 and 1 8 plus 5 and 5 8 So my first step would be to take the 10 and the 5, the whole parts, and add those together. So 10 plus 5 gives us 15. And then we're going to take the 1 8 and the 5 8 and add them together. Now we're lucky in this case because the bottom numbers are already the same. So if I have 1 8 and I want to add 5 8 all together, 1 plus 5 would be 6 8 So that's 15 total inches and 6 8 of an inch. So that I can write to be a little bit simpler. I know if I um, divide 6 and 8 both by 2, they would end up giving me 3 quarters. So 6 eighths in lowest terms is 3 quarters. So this is going to end up being 15 and 3 quarters of an inch. Okay, 15 inches, whole inches, and then 3 quarters of another inch. So almost 16 inches, but not quite. Alright, so let's try example 2. The first step would be to take the big whole numbers, so I've got 4 inches and a bit, plus 6 inches and a bit more. We're going to add the 4 and the 6 together first and get that part. Good, so 4 plus 6 is 10. Alright, now we're going to look at the fraction pieces. Here I have 13 sixteenths and I have 3 quarters. Now this 4 is the smaller one. I'm going to rewrite that to be a 16 instead. So I'm going to have to times that 4 by 4, which means I times the 3 by 4 and make it into a 12. Okay, so 3 quarters is the same as 12 sixteenths. So if I have 13 sixteenths and I add 12 more sixteenths, I'm going to take the 13 and the 12 and add them together, and that gives me 25 out of 16. Now, this is one of those improper fractions where the number on the top is larger than the number on the bottom. So I'm going to rewrite that. I'll just keep the 10 there because I still have my 10 holes. But the 25, I'm going to rewrite that as 16 over 16 to make one whole inch. Plus, we have, uh, we would need 9 more sixteenths to make that equal to 25. Sixteenths. So you'll notice the 16 plus the 9, they go together to make the 25. Okay, so they add together to give us our 25 sixteenths. Now the reason we did that is because this 16 over 16 equals one whole more inch. So if we add 10 inches and we add the one whole more inch to it, that's going to be a total of 11 whole inches plus this extra piece of 9 sixteenths of an inch. Okay, why don't you try example number three, put the video on pause, uh, turn your iPad upside down or your phone or whatever you're using, uh, try question number three, and then when you're done, come back to the video, press play again, and check your work. Okay, if you did this question, you should have added the nine and the four together to get 13. And then we want to change the smaller denominator into the same denominator as what's over here. Uh, so 1 8 is the same thing as 2 16 I'm just multiplying both the 1 and the 8 by a 2 to make it 2 16 So if I have 2 16 and I add 11 16 11 plus 2 is 13 16 and if I look at my chart, I know 13 sixteenths can't go any further, so that will be my final answer. Finish off that page. See how you do.